In the realm of groundbreaking ventures, Saudi Arabia is quickly transcending its status as one of the world's wealthiest oil-driven nations. While their huge oil reserves have long defined their identity, they are now embarking on a brand new journey. The development of an astonishing Terra yacht, a floating total mega city named Pangios, with a jaw-dropping budget of $8 billion. But how will they turn this ambition into reality? Steering this transformative crusade is His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who has assumed a crucial role in guiding the destiny of the Arab nation as his father transitions into retirement. In the wake of a global pandemic that rattled the world and a sharp nosedive in oil prices, Saudi Arabia is undergoing a seismic transformation. The realization has finally dawned that over-reliance on oil is no longer a sustainable path. Enter Vision 2030, an initiative initially unveiled in 2016 but now resurging with amplified intensity. This visionary plan seeks to break free from the chains of oil dependency by ushering in an era of diversification and opportunity. It pivots on strategic investments in growing industries, tourism, and sustainability, all while championing inclusivity and prosperity for all. Vision 2030 isn't just rhetoric. It breathes life into five colossal giga projects. Among these mammoth endeavors, one stands out, and you might have heard of it at some point in the past few months. Neom, a game-changing $500 billion city project taking shape along the northwestern coast of the Red Sea. This is no ordinary city, it's a sneak peek into the future. Powered solely by renewable energy resources, Neom harnesses cutting-edge technology such as artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, and the Internet of Things. Roads, cars, and emissions will be non-existent. It's a green utopia in the making. Imagine this. Neom spreads 105 miles in length while being only 650 meters wide, dwarfing New York City nearly 30-fold. To manifest this vision, an intricate network of bridges and causeways must brave the unforgiving environmental conditions of the Red Sea. But Neom is more than a city, it's a luxury tourism haven. With 90 pristine islands, desert dunes, multiple beaches, and inactive volcanoes, it's poised to captivate travelers from every corner of the globe. By 2030, Neom aspires to host about 50 hotels, offering an astonishing 8,000 rooms ready to impress visitors with its treasures. This is just a glimpse of Saudi Arabia's grand tapestry. Yet, Saudi Arabia's ambitions extend beyond solid ground. Pangeos defies conventions, reimagining the very essence of a city. It introduces a paradigm shift in the concept of floating cities, departing from the usual confines of cities rooted in soil. Architects and visionaries have toyed with this concept for decades, seeking inventive solutions to urban development. While the dream of marine utopias has tantalized modern architecture for centuries, little has truly materialized. Technological progress now makes it more plausible than ever, but building on the sea is an entirely distinct challenge from building on land. The stakes are higher, and the margin for error is slim. Therefore, the onus lies on those with not only guts, but undeniable skill and expertise to execute these monumental projects. In the case of Saudi Arabia's audacious venture, the delicate task falls into the capable hands of none other than Lazzarini Design Studio. The name Lazzarini Design Studio may ring a bell as they've gained renown for their mind-bending and unconventional designs. Founded by Italian designer and architect Pier Paolo Lazzarini in 2009, this studio is a hub of innovative architectural creativity. Based in Rome, Italy, it serves as the birthplace of extraordinary designs and projects. With an illustrious track record of pushing the boundaries of design and innovation, it comes as no surprise that the minds behind Pangeo's Terra Yacht have introduced a concept that is quite a stir in the world of architecture. This proposed $8 billion project envisions a giant floating city elegantly shaped like a turtle poised gracefully in the heart of the open sea. Its dimensions are truly awe-inspiring, dwarfing iconic landmarks such as the Roman Colosseum and even outstretching the world's largest yacht, the Asm, by a factor of three. But what exactly is the driving force behind this audacious project? Why the need for a floating city, and what will it entail? The inspiration for the Pangeos Terra Yacht takes us on a journey that spans over 200 million years into the past when Earth's landmasses were united in a supercontinent called Pangea. 
This ancient geological formation encompassing Africa, North America, South America, and Asia harks back to the Greek word for Mother Earth. Over time, geological rifts created openings in Earth's crust, leading to the emergence of the Atlantic Ocean and the eventual division of Pangaea into the continents we recognize today. In a bold endeavor, Pangaeo's Terra Yachts creators, led by Lazzarini Design Studio in collaboration with Saudi Arabia, seek to reinterpret this ancient continent in a futuristic and groundbreaking manner. Their ambitious vision necessitates the construction of a massive dry dock purpose-built for this project. This involves reclaiming land from the sea and dredging over a hundred hectares of seabed to construct a colossal dam. For the Terra yacht to reach its full potential, a dedicated Terra shipyard is required, tailored to accommodate the immense scale of the vessel. This shipyard not only facilitates easy access to the water, but also streamlines the process of launching the superstructure. Once ready, the yacht will be gently lifted and allowed to float on the water's surface. Now, Saudi Arabia has emerged as the ideal location for this monumental undertaking. The extensive space available, particularly at the King Abdullah port, is what makes it a perfect fit for the project's requirements. Let's take a dive into the actual engineering of this project. The structure of this floating city is nothing short of an engineering marvel. The hull is divided into nine distinct bows, segmented into various sections across a 30-meter draft. What keeps this megastructure afloat is a network of 30,000 cells, described by the design studio as an unsinkable floating solution. Powering the Pangaeus Terra yacht are nine high-temperature superconductor engines, each fueled by renewable onboard energy sources and capable of delivering a whopping 16,800 horsepower. This formidable power ensures that the floating city can move at a maximum speed of 5 knots, ensuring a unique blend of sustainability and mobility. By now, it's clear that sustainability is at the heart of the Terra Yacht project. To achieve this, several renewable energy resources have been integrated into the vessel's design. Solar panels line the rooftop area, harnessing solar energy, while the wings of the yacht are designed to generate energy from the motion of the waves. This thoughtful design ensures that energy expended is simultaneously replenished, facilitating emissions-free movement. To further enhance sustainability, the Terra Yacht features an advanced water filtration and waste management system. This holistic approach to eco-friendliness makes it a self-sufficient and environmentally conscious living space. In addition to its sustainable features, the Terra Yacht promises a luxurious and comfortable living experience. The yacht boasts an array of amenities, including restaurants, shops, recreational facilities, residential apartments, private villas, and hotel rooms. The city within the turtle shell is also set to feature an assortment of shopping malls, resorts, parks, beach houses, and air and water travel terminals. With a port situated at the center of the edifice, residents will have space for private yachts and boats nestled smack in the middle of lush greenery, including trees, manicured lawns, and various parks and gardens. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Housing options within the Terra Yacht are expected to cater to a diverse range of residents with varying price points. Small irregular spaces are just the beginning, with more expensive apartments and luxurious living quarters suitable for royalty. Anticipated are 19 luxury apartments and 64 living quarters on each of the wings of the turtle-like structure. The rooftop will feature shell-like homes comprising 72 terraces that overlook the sea or the city's heart. The Terra Yacht is projected to accommodate up to 60,000 residents. In a twist that sets it apart from traditional cities, the Terra Yacht doesn't have a fixed home or port. Instead, it embarks on a perpetual journey. Owing to its vast mass, it has a maximum speed of merely 5 knots, which, in simple terms, is approximately 5.7 miles per hour. This leisurely pace is by design, and the focus is on the journey itself rather than any particular destination. So, how is the dream being funded? The estimated cost of the project is a staggering $8 billion, though critics suggest that it may even surpass this figure. The precise funding mechanism for the project has yet to be publicly disclosed, given its status as a private venture. Multiple avenues for funding are on the horizon. Private investment and venture capital present a promising route, given the project's unique design and its potential to revolutionize marine architecture and design. Crowdfunding and pre-sales of apartments and rooms on the yacht offer another path to raise the necessary funds. Governments, too, may play a role by providing grants, subsidies, and tax credits, given the project's commitment to sustainability. 
As the project evolves, Lazzarini Design Studio has initiated a controversial crowdfunding project, allowing supporters to purchase virtual NFT entrance tickets and tours starting from as low as $16, along with virtual VIP appointments commencing at $160. As we watch from a distance, we hold our breath, curious to see if the concept of a utopian city adrift on the sea will indeed come to life. Time will be the ultimate teller, and we'll keep our fingers crossed for a glimpse of this pioneering project.